Hello, this is Amanda Verrett from the Office of Instructional Design and Distance Learning at Northern Kentucky University with Mike Lively. This is tutorial 6 out of 8. In this tutorial, I'll be talking about using Pano 2 QTVR to convert our cubic projection photographs back into an equal rectangular photograph. When making 360 by 360 degree panoramic photographs that you plan to view within a viewing program on the internet, you can use either equal rectangular panoramas, which is what we're making, or cubicle projections. But the code that we're using that I'll show you in the last tutorial, video tutorial 8, uh, requires the equal rectangular panoramas. Our code requires equal rectangular panoramas because we are using photo as a skin on the inside of a sphere as opposed to a cube. If you're using a cube with a camera on the inside of it to view the photographs, you would need to use the series of cubicle projections that we created in tutorial 4. So I opened Pano 2 Cube TVR again, and our project is still set up from last time. So this is super simple. Everything, paths are all set. All I really need to do is click Convert to Equal Rectangular. But in case you close the program or process some other photographs, I'll walk you through it again really quick. This is the Start panel. You can click Create New Project, select a place to save the project, and then it will prompt you to this panel, the Project panel. You'll choose a base path, the folder that you want to save your series of photographs in, and then you choose the project type. Last time we had Equal Rectangular selected because we were converting from Equal Rectangular photograph into a series of cubic photographs, and now we're doing the opposite, so we have Cubic selected. And this is the button where you can choose your uh, cube face base name. So in our series of cubic projections, they all start with library pano underscore cube and then they have another underscore with the number zero through five. This is why we needed to keep the naming this convention the same in the last tutorial when editing the Nader photograph. So you select the cube face base name, the tile format, I just have JPEG again, and I'm gonna click convert to equal rectangular. And it asks us to choose a file name for the new pano. I'm going to name this underscore new so I don't get it confused with our original equal rectangular photograph that we created earlier. And OK. And it's finished. And here we have it. And as you can see, at the bottom of our photograph, the tripod has completely disappeared. We're now ready to move on to tutorial 7, where we'll make the panoramic photograph into a SWIFT using Adobe Flash.